So this is from week one's homework, and it's the, it's the last thing that you should have done, it's the review. And I'll just quickly go over some of the ideas that weren't really thought of so well. Okay, firstly, this is something called like terms. You can only add X's to X's, and you can only add Y's to Y's. It's like putting cats and dogs in the same pen. You can't do it. So we can only put the X's with the X's. We've got five of them, and we lose three. So we're down to two X's, and then the Y's and the Y's can go together. We've got two and one more, so we've got three Y's. XY's are actually the same as YX's, in the same way that if you go three times two, it is the same as two times three. So X times Y is the same as Y times x. So what I can put together is I've got three xy's and I've got another three xy's. Put them together, I get six xy. And then I've got four y's. I've got two x's. Can't combine them. They're a bit like cats and dogs. So I'm going to go plus four y minus two x. We just, we can't do anything with them. We cannot put them together. The next one, I've got x squared y, x squared y. So I can put them together. I've got three of them and another five of them. So I've got 8x squared y. Ooh, x is doubled. Doubled, if you double something, doubled? I don't know, if you double your number of cats, it means that you went from two to four, okay? So double means times two. Okay. The second part is decreased by five. If I decrease the number of uh, cats in my house by two, that means I've gone down two. So decrease means minus. Okay, so let's put these words into symbols. X is doubled. That means times by 2. So I've got x times 2. See how my x's and my times, my x's have got curly arms. It's a good habit to, to start being in. Make your x's have curly arms, and then they don't look like the times, the multiply sign. x is doubled. Done that. Then decreased by 5. That means that we have to take 5 off it. x times 2 minus 5. A, another way to write it, a sort of tidier way, is we can actually leave out that times and we can just go 2x minus 5. The next one, <coughs> let's have a look. We've got mn squared, m squared n, not the same. mn squared. So I'm looking at that one there, this one here, and this one here, they're the same. They're the same terms. I've got three of them. I've got another six of them. So I've got nine m n squared plus this one here. There's nothing else like it. Four m squared n. A number which is five more. Ugh. If I was to think that I might get five more dogs, that would mean that I've already had two, I'd be up to seven. Therefore, five more actually means plus five is the same as five more. So a number which is five more than half the value of x. Half, if, I don't know, if a cake is halved, that means you cut it in half or you divide it between two people. So half could be written divided by two. And another way we sometimes write divided by two is whatever it is over two, which is a way of writing divided by two. So uh, what we're going to do is a number which is five more than half the value of x. Okay. We've got to get our cake. We've got to cut it in half. So, oh, sorry, it's a Z. Z. 
If you write your z like this, it won't look like a 2. So I'm going to write z divided by 2. That's cutting it in half. 5 more than is plus 5. And you might see it written like this. z divided by 2 plus 5. And our last one. Perimeter. Now that's a word. I'm going to write what it means. Perimeter. Now, a periscope is a thing that you have on a submarine. Pretty badly drawn, but it's a thing that you have on a submarine that you can look around. Peri is around. Perimeter is how far around. Now, if I set out to walk around this rectangle, I might go up this way. If I go up this way, it'd be x. If I go along this way, it's then x plus 2. Remember, I'm walking around it. And then I'm going down here, and it's an x. And then I'm going along here, and it's an x plus 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down how far around I'm going. So I'm starting here. I'm going to draw me. Here I am, starting here. I'm going to walk up x. And then I'm going to walk along x plus 2. And then I'm walking down x. And then I'm walking along x plus 2. And that's how far around I've walked. To be a bit tidier, what I can do is I can look at the x's. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4. I've got four x's, which I can write 4 times x plus my numbers. Look, I've got a 2 and a 2. If I put them together, I've got a 4. Even tidier is if I write it like 4x plus 4.